What's going on y'all? What's going on? What's going on? Listen, I'm back with yet another video and today we are going to be talking about Boost and Ensure and why I stopped taking them. Now, as a child, I was a very, very picky eater and so my mother and my grandmother would give me Ensure. That's all that they knew. They were like, okay, she's not eating. We're gonna give her this Ensure, okay? My how things have changed because I am not much of a picky eater today, okay? Um, I love to eat. I love to eat. For those of you who watch my videos, you know. You know what I mean? I've even eaten on camera and gotten ridiculed for it, but I love <laughs> to eat, okay? So with that being said, um, you know, I've always had a very fast metabolism. Both of my parents are petite. My grandmother has always been small. It just runs in my family. Nobody is really, well, my immediate family no one is overweight no one is is big okay so um with that being said you know as i got older middle school high school all of that it was very 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 hard for me to gain weight okay um and i really started really seriously doing the whole weight gain journey thing for real for real and sticking to it about february of last year of 2018 okay Prior to that, I had taken both Boost and Ensure. And I just want to say that those things definitely work. They definitely work. But I stopped because there are just a lot of unnecessary ingredients in both. And diabetes runs in my family, high cholesterol, you know, all of those things. I'm not vegan, but I try to eat healthy. And yes, I eat junk here and there. But I think because I really love fruits and vegetables and I eat a lot of that and I drink a lot of water I force myself to that kind of balances things out to be honest with you um, if you look at the ingredients in both Ensure and Boost you'll find that there's a lot of sugar in both per bottle there's a lot of sugar and other unnecessary things too much soy is not good for you it has soy both of them soy sugar salt artificial and natural flavors but again what is all of that it just says artificial natural flavors we don't know what that breakdown exactly is and so when you're consuming th that those things and you do it for an ongoing you know period of time it's just not in my opinion not the best thing and honestly although i did gain weight and there was a definitely that was during the time when i really started working out and whatnot it's because I worked out that I had like a situated body or whatever is what I'm trying to say. Like the, the, the fat that I got from it, a lot of it did go to my stomach, you know, and again, I wasn't necessarily eating healthy all the time, but I just find that if you go with like protein powder, like I always talk about or gain, when you look at those ingredients, there's really no, no sugar like that in there. In a big old container, 2.7 pound thing of, of protein powder. You know what I'm saying? And all the breakdown of the ingredients healthy for you. I feel that that's just a better way to go. And if I'm already going to drink three shakes a day and force myself to do so, it's better to go that route than to go with the Boost or the Ensure that has all these other things that I don't even know what they are you know or just name replacements for things that are bad for you because at the end of the day a lot of these things have all kinds of fillers and whatnot that just really aren't good for you okay so that is my personal opinion are you gonna put on the weight yeah you're gonna put it on you know what I'm saying but it also it's not anything as with most things that's gonna stay it's not anything that's gonna stay so if you are gonna stick with something you might as well stick with something that is going to be good for you and have other benefits in addition to weight gain you know what i mean something that's going to put you in a better mood give you the ability to focus and help fill you out you know what i'm saying i just don't think that those things are the way to go and i think that in the long run what you think is giving you just immediate results 
will end up giving you diabetes, high cholesterol, and all those things that you are trying to avoid. So that is my opinion. That is why I stopped. And that's why I stick with things such as a protein powder and maca. And I'm going to research other things that I can take. You know what I mean? And of course, yes, if you go to the gym, that's helping your heart. That's helping your body. That's helping your mind. All of that. I know it's something I need to do, but I'm just saying that that definitely will take you to that next level. All right? So that is basically it. I thank y'all so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll holla.